Hi, this is John with the Fossil Channel, and today we're going to go over how to calibrate the Casio PRW2500 and the Casio PAW1500. I'm going to start out with the 1500 here. Um, when you start calibrating these watches, you want to be out in the field away from magnetic sources or fields if you can, or buildings and metal structures, as that will have an influence on the, your magnetic readings. And you also want to have another compass to go by just so you can check your readings. With that being said, uh, you want to keep your compass relatively flat. For our demonstration purposes, I'm going to tilt it on the angle for the camera to see so it's easier for you guys to see what's going on. Uh, you're going to start off by going to the compass menu up here. Click that once. And now you're in your compass menu. From here, you're going to hold down adjust. And then it's going to go into the first setup menu. This is your declination setting. So if you want to calibrate your watch to give you a true north reading, you can use compass up here, the button to do your west declination, or the altimeter button down here to do your east declination. So it only doesn't hold numbers here. We're not going to do that in this demonstration. We're just going to go straight up to the calibration setting. So next, you're going to push the mode button once from here, and it's going to give you the bi-directional setting. Um, the manual recommends this setting uh, in case you're in a place that has a lot of magnetic influence as this will kind of be a little bit more, I guess, resilient or just more effective according to the menu in the magnetic field or interference uh, setting. And also, you want to set this first because this will override any other uh, compass settings or readings that you may do with the other settings in your menu. So start out with the bi-directional measurement first. Our purposes here is north is this way and south is this way, just to keep things simple. Uh, again, you don't want this on an angle, you want to keep it flat. So you're going to start off by logging in the information. You see that the LCD is blinking in the top, that's your north, and this is your south. Start by logging in by pushing the compass button. It's going to take a reading, and it's going to say OK in a moment if it takes it OK. All right. If it doesn't, it'll say error, and you'll have to repeat the uh, the process again. So now the south point is blinking, and what you're going to do here, you're going to take the watch and rotate it 180 degrees, and you want to get it exactly or clo very close to the exact alignment because it's going to measure based off of that alignment which way is north. It's going to align your magnetic sensor. So you're going to push compass again to log the information in. And if you've done everything correctly, you should say OK. And that is bi-directional calibration. What you want to do then is if you want to set up any more options in here, you're going to go back into compass. And then you're going to push adjust again, hold it down. And you're going to get into your setup menu. And then you're going to push mode not once, but twice to get into the uh, northerly option here. Now, uh, to set up northerly option, obviously make sure you know which way is north. Point it to north for our purposes. This is north. This is south. Hold down or push compass here and let it get, get its reading. And then you're all set. And that's how you calibrate the PRW2500 compass. Uh, we're going to look at the uh, PAW1500 next. It works pretty much the same way. Again, I'm going to hold it on an angle so that you can see uh, what I'm doing. Uh, you're going to access the compass menu on the top right here. The top right button says compass right here. And it's going to flash with LCDs around the uh, main screen. You can probably see a small dot matrix around the screen here. That is your basic compass alignment system. Uh, the three dots represent uh, the magnetic reading of north or the pin that would face north or find the strongest magnetic source. Um, again, for our purposes, north is that way, south is this way. These compasses only last about 10 to 20 seconds uh, based on their power. Um, it stopped reading right here, so what we're going to do is push compass again. Make sure we're in the compass menu here. I'm going to hold down adjust to access the menu. And again, the first menu item is the declination. You can change that using the compass button up here for the west declination or the altimeter button down here for the east declination. For our purposes, we're not setting up declination, so you can leave it on off position. 
Um, we're going to go to the bi-directional setup by pushing mode once. We're in the bi-directional bi setup here. You can see the three uh, LCD dots on the top, just above the Casio sign there. And you also probably could see the three on the bottom here. It's kind of a weird angle for the camera to pick up, but the top is blinking first. Like the PRW 2500, you want to point it in north. Our purpose is north is this way, south is this way. Once you have that figured out, push the compass button. It's going to read that and say OK. And then you're going to take your watch, like the PRW 2500, you're going to flip it around and try to keep it exactly aligned as you had it before. And now we're going to try pushing compass here and getting a reading off of that. I should say OK. And we're all set with the bi-directional setup. Now, I'm going to go back into the compass mode here. And we're going to set up for the northerly calibration. You're going to hold down adjust. And I'm going to push the mode not once, but twice again to get to the northerly setup. And you can see the four little dots here on the dot matrix ring outside. Um, it's kind of hard to see compared to the PRW2500, which uses a duplex LCD system. These older ones, they don't use a duplex system as much, or if at all. And this one doesn't. So it has a little dot matrix around the edge. The newer watches kind of use the same thing. Um, I personally like the duplex uh, LCD display. Again, your northerly, uh, your, uh, northerly calibration is going to have the three dot matrix markers on top near the Casio sign up there. Uh, point it to the direction of north, which is this way, and south is this way for our purposes right here. Hold down the compass button, and it's going to log that in. And you are finished for the calibration. So that's how you calibrate both the PAW 1500 and the PRW 2500. I'm John with the Fossil Channel. Thanks for watching.